Rockets with the steal. Holiday, Tatum takes his time, knocks it down. Blow a kiss to him. There you go. See ya. Look at that face. Welcome to the Celtics Post Game Live. Eddie House, Amina Smith here with you in a hard fought, gritty win by this Celtics team against the Timberwolves. 127 to 120. The Celtics now 18 and 0 at home. That's a franchise record. Best starting record at home in franchise history. Eddie, back to tonight's matchup, though. What was the big storyline for you? It was Jason Tatum. It's the Jays, actually. Mm -hmm. It was those two guys, and Jason Tatum brought us home. Who started the game? It was Jalen Brown. We talked about him in the first half. Who brought us home was our closer, one of our closers, and that was Jason Tatum. And, I mean, you talk about getting money every which way, and I thought what they did was a good job of they were finding. And sometimes that bogs you down when you start trying to find and hunt matchups. But we hunted the matchup, got the matchup we wanted, whether it was Nas Reed on Jason Tatum, whether it was Carlton Downs on Jason Tatum when he went to the basket and finished with the left hand. And I thought they just did a really good job with their spacing offensively. But more importantly, I thought they really – buckled down defensively, made it tough, especially in the overtime, mm. rebounded the basketball, and they didn't give too many clean looks for those guys. And speaking of overtime, it was all about Jason Tatum in OT. Let's take a look at how it went down for Jason Tatum in overtime. It started with that dunk to tie it at 114 apiece. Take a look at this right here. Jason Tatum just going to work, going up. Throws it down at the basket. A little frustrated right there with some of the calls. Next one drives. Breaks the tie on this play right here. And this is Jason Tatum just taking over in overtime for this Celtics team. And then, of course, Drew Holiday with the defense, turning it into offense. Gets the ball over to Jason Tatum yet again. The superstar makes a three. And you saw it at the beginning of the show. Kids, good night. The mean mug face right there. Wow. That's how you know, Eddie. He was engaged in this matchup, especially in overtime. 26 of his 45 points came in the fourth quarter and overtime play. What was the best thing that Jason Tatum was able to do to push this Celtics team to a win? It, to score and being aggressive. And it, it was a couple plays where he was aggressive, where he did make the right play. I think we ended up uh, – who was that? Was it Drew Holiday with a shot in the corner off of a pass that he made? And then it was a hockey pass, actually, that he made. But – the, the fact of the matter is understanding the assignment. The assignment was, hey, man, this is the best team in the you're, – you're the best team in the league. This is the second best team in the league. Y'all the best defensive team. Anthony Edwards, emerging superstar, not on my watch, not here at home. We're going to take care of this, and we're going to make it. They made history on your birthday. They made history on my birthday. See, now it just all comes together. I asked for a win, and then they deliver even more. Well, speaking of Jason Tatum, he's with Abby Chin after this win. Jason, you led a 9-0 run to tie the game in regulation, then scored 12 points in overtime to seal the win. What comes over you in winning time? What are you seeing? What are you feeling? What are you thinking? Uh, man, just when you just get in that moment, you, you live for those moments. You, you want to do whatever you can to help your team win. And, uh, you know, in the back of my mind, I ain't want to lose at home yet, right? We're still undefeated. The crowd got behind us. Uh, the energy, you know, got going. So. Uh, that was a fun ball game towards the end. This is now the longest winning streak at home to open a season in Celtics franchise history. To what level yes, did you guys go to defensively in that OT? Uh, I think we were just playing sluggish in the first half. Uh, even though we was winning by one or it was tied, uh, we didn't like the way we were playing. We had to pick up the intensity. Uh, we just started getting stopped, being locked in, and uh, you know, our offense started to pick up. This was a hard-fought physical game against the number two team in the NBA. Joe talks about lessons all the time. What did you learn about your team here tonight? Uh, I learned a lot. I mean, I know that we're a really good team, and it's a lot that we can work on. But, uh, you know, we play the right way on both ends of the floor. It's pretty tough to beat. No question about it, Jason. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Scal joining us live from inside of TD Garden. He heard Jason Tatum right there with Abby. He said he did not want to lose at home inside of TD Garden. 18 wins straight. Scal, how did Jason Tatum take over this game for the Celtics? It was amazing what that it's like the, the shot was big, the mean mug and the kiss and everything like that. But if you watch that bucket on Carl Anthony Towns, where he gets fouled, he goes right, he crossed over, crossed over, ends up going up and strong with the left hand. That's when you could tell, like, there's a lot of good players out here tonight, but this one particular player was on a different level, and he took over, he took over late, he made big shots, and he's 
still shared the ball and got his teammates involved. So I just you you, you, you see Jason Tatum play every single day, but now when you watch him take that step up to another level, you're still amazed by his abilities. I want to give a shout out to the fans, right? We know what Jason Tatum did. We know how Jalen Brown played and, and what they did to, to come back and, and, and win this game in overtime. But let's give a shout out to the fans because they understood what was on the line. They were about to be a part of history. And the way that that fan base got behind them as they were making that run. When Jason Tatum hit that shot, and I was telling you, Amina, this off cam, when he hit that shot and I watched the replay, I got goosebumps because I understand. I know what it sounds like. I know that feeling that you get. And you only could get it when you're doing that type of stuff right there. But for them to rally behind this team and not get down, and, and it just shows that we do have the best fans. So I want to shout out to them because they get some credit for this win as well. And let's just go back to that home streak as well. 18 straight at home. Scout, what is to say about how dominant this Celtics team is inside of TD Garden. To me, this whole thing is about addressing your uh, your faults, your flaws. Last year in the playoffs, this team had a lot of flaws at home. You're supposed to win your home game. You're supposed to try to get on the road and steal one. They struggled at home. So wh whatever Joe Mazzula, the staff, the players say, hey, man, we're going to be a different team in this building. We're not going to just going to show up and expect the crowd to get us through it. We got to make things happen. We got to establish a home dominant. It's these these people here that come to, to watch, you know, like you never know if a kid's here for only one time all year. They deserve to see their favorite team win. So I like the fact that last year was a problem in this building. We lost game seven to the Miami Heat. We lost a lot of games in this building. I like that they addressed that and they're taking it upon themselves to, I'm sure they're thinking 41-0 and 0 at, in this building and it's one game at a time, but I like that they're taking this streak and they're, and they're uh, addressing it.